So I'm going to start working on some outdoor projects. So I'm going to start um, today, I'm going to make some little cement mushrooms that you can sit in your garden or just put out in your yard anywhere. Um, later on I'll probably do some, some stepping stones. So I've got a lot of stuff here. Um, not going to be all used for this project, but um, I'm going to use it for the stepping stones too. So anyway, I'm going to show you what we're going to need to do, I guess, both projects. Um, and then we're going to get started on the cement mushrooms. Okay, the most important thing you're going to need is a little dog that watches for squirrels while you're working on your project. He's got his eye on one right now. Just waiting for it to come down out of that tree so he can eat it. So, get you one of those. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is a bag of cement, and this is high strength cement. It's an 80 pound bag. I think it was like $3.50. And a tub to mix it in. Um, I think that was like a $5 mixing tub. And then now I've also got a whole bunch of these little uh, glass stones. I got them in the floral section at the craft store. They're a lot cheaper if you get them there than if you get them over where um, they sell like the mosaic tiles for stepping stones. So like a bag like this big right here was, uh, I don't think it says, it was like $3.50 versus if you got them, the ones that were marked for uh, mosaic tiles and stuff like that would probably be like ten dollars worth of glass stones there. Um, and I also have some river stones here. Some black ones and some white ones. I don't know yet. I just grabbed whatever struck my fancy. Um, I also got a set of letters that you can use to uh, write words into it. Um, I've got some broken uh, glass. This is for um, Oh, stained glass work, so I just took it and broke it up with a hammer, or stepped on it actually. I just laid this on the ground and walked on it to break it up, but um, make sure you're wearing shoes when you do that. <laughs> um, I also have a box of stepping stone mix that I bought at the craft store. I think the last time I used this, I actually just used that for the grout. Um, yeah, I think that's what I used it for. And then I also have a ceramic tile adhesive and what I used this for was to stick the little glass beads to the cement and then I used the cement uh, the stepping stone mix as grout so um, that's all you need to make the cement parts of the mushroom and decorate it um, we're also going to use some nails I got some of these galvanized nails that I'm going to just stick in the bottom of the base so that you can push them into the ground so your mushroom doesn't tip over. And I got some nuts and some bolts and these are stainless steel so that they don't rust. The nails are galvanized and um, I'm going to be sticking these into the, the mold um, so that you can screw the parts together. I bought a couple of bowls here that I like the shape of. They kind of have a mushroomy shape to them. It's okay if it's flat on the bottom because we'll build that up with the grout and the mortar. Um, I got these for one dollar at Target in their uh, dollar section. Um, I have a couple of containers. These ca these are um, Lysol wipes containers that I'm going to cut off the rim here so that um, I can get the cement out when it's dried. And so you'll need some scissors, a Sharpie marker, some tape, let's see, a trowel to mix the cement. Over here I've got some acrylic paint and I can use that to paint the cement when it's dry. It's easier to, to paint it than it is to try to dye the cement, plus the dyes don't come in very, very cool colors. Um, I've just got a couple of I've got like a knife and a spoon and a tub with uh, cloth in there and that's what I can use when I'm smoothing on the grout and uh, cleaning it up and then some water so we can mix with our cement. 
So I'm going to go ahead and get things started. Okay, so I have cleaned up my work area. I uh, basically put away all the decorative stuff. So all you're going to need um, right now is the cement and mixing tub, your containers to put the cement in, um, the tape, sharpie, trowel, nuts and bolts, and nails. And so what I went ahead and did was I just took and put a little water in here and just scraped off most of the paper from the sticker. And then I cut the um, top of the tub off so that there wasn't a an indentation that would lock the cement in there. Um, that doesn't have to be perfect because you're not going to fill it all the way up to the top. So um, Then what you're going to do is you're going to take uh, one of your nuts and take a piece of tape, a little piece like this, and stick it to the nut. And so what we're doing here is we're just creating a seal on it so that when we put this in the bottom of our, this is going to be the, I guess, the trunk of the mushroom. So that's going to be that way when it's done. And then this will sit on top of it. Um, and that'll be our mushroom. So this is going to sit down inside of there. We're going to tape it in. And then we're going to take one of our bolts and just screw it in until it's flush with the back of the nut. Mark it with our Sharpie. Okay, so you just make a line all the way around the bolt and So what we're going to do here is when we pour the concrete, we're going to set this into our stem. This is going to just end up sitting in the top, or what will eventually be the bottom of the cap of the mushroom. We just want to push it in until we get to this part right here, because this part's going to stick out, and then once it's all dry, we put it together, we screw the top into the bottom so that it doesn't fall off. Um, this may make more sense later on. So, the nut goes in the cap, the bolt goes in the bottom of the tub, which will eventually become the top when we turn it over, and these will marry the two, the cap and the stem together, and then we're going to take about three nails, and we're just going to push them into the wet cement, and this is what we'll use to when the whole thing's turned over, these will be sticking into the ground to secure our mushroom to the ground so it doesn't tip over either. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get the other bolt ready, and then I'll be back to show you how to put it in the base. Okay, so you can see that I have already put my bolt in the bottom of the first container. So what you do is you've got your nut that you've taped off one side, so this is the side that's going to be facing up when you're looking inside of the container. So just take it and flip it over. Take another piece of tape about an inch and a half long and just fold it over on itself so it's sticky on both sides, or if you have double-sided sticky tape, that'll work too. Also, I trimmed off the excess tape here, so um, because this tape's not going to come off, it's just always going to be stuck in the cement. I wanted to have a good connection with the the bolt or the nut in the cement. So take your rolled up piece of tape, stick it to the bolt or the nut, and now with the closed off end of the nut facing up again, stick this as close to the center of your container as you can. Just adjust it as you need. So that's in the center-ish, and now I'm going to go ahead and start mixing up the cement, and then we're going to be ready to pour. Okay, so what I've done is just added um, however much cement mix that I thought that I would need to fill up my containers. Uh, you definitely don't want to do too much. Too little is fine because you can always mix up some more. 
Uh, you want to make sure that you do this outside and not on a windy day or you're going to get this stuff all over you and it's really not good to be breathing it. So just carefully add some water to the center of your pile. Okay, and we're just going to go ahead and mix this up a little. Again, try not to make too much dust. Okay, so now we got the cement mixed um, to a nice slurry consistency. You know, you can kind of push it and you kind of holds its shape a little bit. So I think, again, I don't know that much about cement, but I think that's pretty much like what you want. You want to be able to smooth it out if you want to do something like that. Um, so now we can go ahead and take this and put it into our containers. So I'm just going to move this out of the way a little bit and grab my first container and for this first spoon or shovel full I'm going to carefully put it in so it doesn't knock my bolt out of place. Tamp it down. Now we can kind of shovel it in there a little. Okay, I think that's about enough. Alright, so I think that's about full enough. So we'll just take this and hit it a little bit. You want to get all the air bubbles out of it. So we'll just tap it aside and you can see the air bubbles rising. So just continue to tap this until you don't see any more air bubbles, and I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll be right back. Alright, so I have brought my, um, I guess I'm going to call them mushroom stems, over to my porch so that they'll be sitting on a level area um, as they dry. And I went and grabbed some masking tape. So. Just take some of these nails and just stick them in kind of near the edges. So I basically tapped the sides of these until I didn't see very many more uh, bubbles coming up. So you're going to put three of these nails in. And you kind of want to make them the same height. Put them near the edges, not too close to the edge or they'll break through the cement but far enough to the edge that they'll support the, the mushroom. So the reason I got the masking tape was because I didn't think that these would stay standing up on their own. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a piece of tape and just lightly stick it to the container because I don't want it to um, change the shape of my container, but I'm just sort of bracketing these nails so that they'll have something to kind of lean up against. Okay, so all of those look like the nails are pretty level, pretty um, even with each other, and that they're all standing up fairly straight so that when you go to push this into the ground, you don't have nails pointing in odd directions. 
So I'm just going to leave these sitting here for a few days to let them dry and uh, to set up. And also when I get done with the ba the tops, the caps of the mushrooms, I'll put them over here as well. Um, they'll need to be covered with plastic so they don't dry out too fast or it'll cause them to be weak. So um, I'm going to go ahead and mix up some more cement for the caps and then I'll be back to show you those when I fill them up. Alright, so I've mixed up another batch of cement, um, what I think will fill up these two bowls. And um, again, I got my nice little slurry mix um, consistency. So I'm just going to go ahead and spoon this into the bowl. And again, you don't have to fill these up, just fill them up to where you think uh, will make a nice little mushroom top. Uh, you can hold this up to the light, kind of, and see how big you're making it. So I'm going to go ahead and put some in here, too. like making a cake. Okay, so we're going to just do the same thing as we did with our caps. Let me make these a little more even. Okay, you want to make sure that you rinse out your containers and your mixing tools before everything dries. So I'm going to take these out to the yard and do that. Alright, so I brought my bowls over to my patio and my bolts. And I've got my masking tape over here too. So I'm going to go ahead and hit these until all the bubbles come out. And then uh, I'm going to tape in my, or set my bolts in. I don't think I'll have to tape those, but I might. Huh? Yeah, no, he was over there by me while ago. Just watching for squirrels. Alright, so I think that's pretty good on the uh, lids here. I, get, I don't know how important it is to get all the bubbles out for something that's not going to be uh, actually used for walking or a surface or something like that. So now just take your bolts. Um, there's my mark. I don't know if you can see that. But I'm going to take these, sit them in the very center of my cement, and Put them to where they are roughly level with your marked line. And if I'm very lucky, these won't sink in too much further. So we're going to let these set up and wait a few days and see how it comes out. Okay, so I've just taken some plastic bags that I had in the house and covered up the containers, being careful not to uh, move the nails or the, the bolts in there. And I'll just check on them every couple of days. And if I need to mist them to keep them moist inside, I'll do that, um, but hopefully by next weekend I'll have them ready to where I can put decorations on them. So I guess I'll see you next weekend.